Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we need to talk about another method to make coins in FIFA 20. This is gonna be kind of like a how-to video on how to make coins early on in FIFA 20 through a very popular method just called flipping. Very simply, we're gonna be flipping and trading cards in uh, periods of time less than a day, hopefully less than two days at the max. Um, where basically you can buy a card at one price when it kind of reaches a low point on its natural upswing and downswing on a variation of price for that card uh, in a day or two day period. And then we will sell that card when it reaches the tip top um, of that period as well. So basically we're buying low, selling high within a short period of time, flipping that card for profit. And this is something that is very, very easy to do in the early game FIFA 20. As you can tell right now, I'm on the FIFA 20 demo. I can't stand to be in FIFA 19 anymore, so you're not gonna see any more of that. We're all about FIFA 20. Even though this is the demo, I only have Kickoff and Volta. That's all we need, all right? That's all we need to stay on FIFA 20. But we're gonna talk about some ultimate team moves um, and go over to Footbin and check out some other websites for that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about this um, different method um, of trading. So first off, I want to start with a couple examples from FIFA 19 that I traded with early on in the year that were very, very good in terms of being able to flip these cards on a daily basis. And basically, what you're looking for and what cards you want to flip, you're going to be looking for cards that people are going to be using in their starter teams. Uh, so cards that are probably somewhere in the 5K or the even like 2,000 coins all the way up to like 10 to 15k. That's going to be the best bang for your buck ratio in terms of these cards. Because if you go with anything higher, the amount of profit that you're going to make on a daily fluctuation probably isn't that much. Because most people at the start of the game are buying players in that 2 to 15, 20k range for their squads. Um, especially during the web app pay, uh, phase or during EA access. And that's when I... The time frame that we're especially looking at right here is from EA access and the web app, so basically from the start of FIFA Ultimate Team, the web app and the EA Access, up until the game comes out. That's where we're kind of looking for some of these cards. Even some of these lower rated cards, like Jesse Lingard that I'm showing you right here. Um, check out this card's price. I vividly remember buying this card for like 9,000 coins every single night. As you, as you can see here, Friday, September 21st, the web app came out like two days before this last year, I think. I was buying this card for like 9,000 coins in the nighttime. It would go up in the morning to over 10,000 and I would sell for an easy 1 to 1.5k a card. Um, that's some easy, easy profit on a card like this. You're making really solid profits on a daily flip like this. And I'm going to show you guys the hourly graph outlook for this card just to kind of teach you guys how you can do this. So basically, Footbin is going to be your biggest friend. You're going to go to footbin.com um, and you're going to search for these players on Footbin. Uh, and you're gonna look at their daily graphs, all right? So this is the daily graph for Lingard right now in FIFA 19. Obviously, these are FIFA 19 prices, not FIFA 20. Not gonna be the most accurate in terms of fluctuations. But you can tell here that Lingard's price is at a low point of 900 coins. So you might be able to get one on bid for 750 or 800 coins. And he reaches a peak of, look around 1.4K. There's a spike here at 1.8K. Let's see about Tuesday. Tuesday he was chilling around 1,000 coins, 1,200 all day, dipped down to 850 and kind of rose back up to uh, 1,100. So basically through this two-day period, his high point was around 1.3, 1.4K. I think we could, get, we could get some sales there based on this graph. And it looks like we can get some buys around 850 coins. So based on this graph that I see, um, this would be a decent card to flip at a very low budget. Obviously, at the beginning of FIFA 20, this card, Jesse Lingard, he has a FIFA 20 card. I think it's just about the same as this one right here. It is 82 rated. A couple stat changes, but again, a card that a lot of people are going to use in their starter teams, four-star skills, only a three-star weak foot, which is a little bit underwhelming. But basically, you're going to want to look at cards like this meta, popular, and that are going to be in a lot of starter teams, popular nationalities as well. Basically, good cards that link and have good stats. Um, and that are from main leagues and main teams. Popular, popularity is the key for these flipping, flipping these cards because that just means that there's more people going out and buying them for their teams. Another FIFA 19 example of a card that I flipped a lot. Now, obviously, Jorginho had a little bit of ones to watch hype in there, so his price could have been fluctuating and continuing to go up, as you see in this graph. 
because of the ones to watch hype and that card, this gold card going out of packs. Um, but this card definitely fluctuated a lot too. I would buy this card for right around eight to 9,000 coins, sell it the next day in the morning for around 11,000 coins. So basically, I wanna explain this again to you, for you guys just to really dumb it down. The nighttime when the EU, which is the main player base of this game, basically from midnight UK until three or 4 AM UK, uh, maybe even five or 6 AM UK, is like the dead time on the market, especially during the EA access and before the full game release. Um, and actually throughout the rest of the year, it's kind of more of a dead time on the market. But especially when there's limited supply early game, not a lot of people have opened packs yet, especially before the full game release. Um, and there's not as many people on the game. The market gets really dead and there's more people that are listing their cards, either listing them overnight or people that are continuing to open packs in other parts of the world that are packing those cards and selling them, trying to get coins, you can see those cards' prices drop because more people are selling than are buying because most of the user base is off the game. Those card prices drip, uh, drop low in the UK overnight. You can snag a couple of those, throw them on your transfer list. If you're here in the USA, uh, where I am, it's a perfect timing because it's evening for us. We can buy some of those cards, throw them up on our transfer list overnight for six hours, list them one, two, three thousand coins above that price, maybe 10 to 15 percent profit, and possibly collect a buyer when you wake up in the morning. You know, stuff like that. If you're somebody in the UK, you can pick up a card when you go to right when you're going to bed, list it up overnight, maybe sell it throughout the day uh, as 6 p.m. approaches when like the peak time of the day is. That's kind of when you want to sell these cards and look for them to go up the most is around those periods. So this method, just this purely simple flipping method, is going to work with a lot of cards and it's going to work early on. Now as you can see, there's a couple days here where the graph does not show. Flippin' was not working from like the 18th when the web app and EA Access came out on Xbox. Footbin was not working at that time, so it, the prices were probably a little different. I assume that Jorginho was probably like 7 or 8K, and he was kind of rising up with that ones to watch hype. Um, so basically, you might have to buy that card for more expensive every day. The one time period that I want you guys to be careful with, though, is this date right here that I have the mouse at. It is Monday the 24th, because I believe last year, maybe it was Tuesday, either Monday or Tuesday of last year is when the early access, people who bought the game, they were able to get on the game for the first time, and that means EA Access means FIFA points, or excuse me, not EA Access. EA Access does mean FIFA points, but the pre-order of the game means even more people come onto the game. It's like another increment where more and more people get to come onto the game of FIFA and open FIFA points, basically, and create demand for cards on the market. So you see this dip here. This is kind of a dip that is leading up to um, this card going out of packs for ones to watch, and that's why you see him go down is because more packs are being opened. I guess people thought that there was a low chance that he was going to get into ones to watch. Probably people were assuming that Kovacic would get in instead of Jorginho, but Jorginho ended up getting in. His card goes out of packs and he shoots up. But you can see that the packs that are being opened during the um, three days early access for those who pre-ordered the game kind of made this card go down with that supply coming onto the market. You see Lingard as well taking a massive hit. Uh, if we go back to his FIFA 19 card, he took a massive hit. Look, he was up here at 10,000 coins uh, on Monday. He's 10K. Look what he, where he's at by Friday. He's down here at 7K. And then the next week, he's down here at 4,000 coins. So a lot of these cards drop off fast because they get a lot of supply onto the market, especially like an 82 83s are kind of the middle zone, some 84s that they're not overpowered, but then anything that's below that is going to get a ton of supply. Um, but those cards are still very good to trade and to flip early on. One last example that I want to point out to you guys, Callum Wilson, 80 rated card. I want to look at his FIFA 19 variant. Here it is, FIFA 19 Callum Wilson. Oh, I love this card. Look at the graph here at the beginning of the game. 4,000 coins. Let's zoom in real quick. Let's zoom in on this graph really quick for Callum Wilson. I flipped this card so many times from around 3,000 coins to about 4K every single day. This is a perfect Premier League English striker that a lot of people wanted to have in their teams. And it showed because of his price fluctuations. So basically to figure out what cards you're going to want to do this with when FIFA 20 comes out, I'll be looking at a lot of these cards so you can stay tuned to the channel here. But of course, um, look at the popular leagues and nations, but just honestly look at the graphs. 
Look at the graphs of the cards that you think are going to move a lot. Watch their daily graphs, see how much they do actually move, because after one day or two days, you're really going to start to see this trend. Uh, and I'm telling you right now that it's going to happen, because it will happen. But if you don't believe me and you want to make sure that you're, you're you know, watching it happen for yourself, watch the trends for the first two days of like web app and EA access before we get into that early access, the three days before the full game release. Um, watch those trends. It's going to happen because people are going to be building teams, playing the game with their EA access time, and starting out their offline teams early. So again, it just creates a big time opportunity again to buy when those cards are low and flip them for when they are high. And obviously, this is a trading method that we do throughout the rest of the year. We're going to do this with informs, with other cards that are out of packs and stuff like that. But early on in FIFA, it's all about these gold cards because that's what people are doing. So basically, go through a list. You can help yourself out by going through a list right now. The cards that fluctuate the most are positions that everybody needs for their team. Right backs, center mids, strikers, um, and of course the guys that are overpowered and there are less of those cards. Like if we're looking at Premier League right backs, you have a lot of options for an early game right back. You have Trent, Ricardo Pereira, Hector Bellerin, Wambi Saka. Some people are probably going to use Aurier. Some people are going to use probably, um, where's the other guy, Yedlin. People are going to use him. So there's some decent options down in here. Although I would say Wambi Saka, Pereira, and Hector Bellerin might be decent ones to trade with, especially Pereira and Wambi Saka. Those kind of stick out to me as possibilities. But basically just go through. Like I have it set to Premier League right now and right back. I'm going to change this to left wing, left mid. What options do we have here? Ooh, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. So Frazier, Pereira, these guys are going to be pretty cheap. All these guys down in here. Anthony Martial might be a very interesting one to flip because he's kind of at that middle range. Middle range here, we have a lot of lower guys, some 80s, some 81s, a 181 rated card. But then you have Martial, who's a pretty solid card, and an 84 in Felipe Anderson. Martial is you know, in some ways, arguably better than Felipe Anderson. So you might kind of watch this card and see what kind of happens. These guys are going to be too out of reach for most people at the beginning of the game. This card might be around 10 to 20,000 coins, maybe 15k. And that could be a card that you can easily flip. Um, again, this is something that you're going to want to do on a middle budget when you have like 100,000 coins. Um, and especially you can look for these lower rated cards, like uh, Pulisic being a great starter left wing. Uh, for a Premier League team, you can find Pula 6 maybe for around 2,000 coins on the market. Maybe he goes up to 3K in the hype of the daytime. On a lower budget, that's going to be something great that you can do. But again, just look through some of these positions. Do some research for yourself. Find some positions that uh, don't have many middle tier players for starter teams that are solid. And see what you can do. Alexander St. Maxime, 79 rated. That card's probably going to fluctuate a lot. He's going to be inflated at the start of the game. He's going to get killed by packs when the EA access comes out, but he could rebound back up from that after those, a lot of those packs get opened into the early access stage. That's something to watch with that card. Um, but even a guy like Willian, who is kind of under the shadow of Pepe right now, Pepe is going to be way inflated. Mares is going to be up there probably. But Willian could be somebody who you might want to keep your eye on to flip. He's Brazilian. He's right wing. Um, and he's just a good right winger. He's got good stats for an 82 rated card. Um, so just kind of watch the hype on some of those cards for what could be a good card to flip. And again, just watch their prices on Footbin. Use this Footbin graphs tool. Use the hourly graphs. Look at yesterday, Tuesday, today. And if you see some trends, make sure to hop on those trends right away as soon as you can. And... Um, make some coins all right make some coins and of course you can increase your chance of selling some of these cards when you flip them by using chemistry styles that can sometimes add another 500 to a thousand coins worth onto your card if you pack a, a um, consumable or a, a chemistry style that you're not going to use like maybe you let's say you pack an engine and you throw it on somebody like a very good middle uh, a midfielder from the Premier League. I'm trying to think of somebody that's good for a starter team. Um, maybe like somebody like Lerma. Maybe you get an engine, you throw that onto Lerma's gold card, and that could instantly make his card worth an extra 500 to 1,000 coins, depending on how much the engines go for, for a starter card like this. So make sure when you have um, chemistry styles on cards, or if you buy one on the market with a chem style, make sure you search the market and say, hey, is this card worth any more 
with a chem style. That's very important for flipping cards as well. And then of course having contracts on the cards and uh, position changes as well. If you move somebody to center forward, then he's usually a center mid uh, or a striker. That might help somebody's team out for chemistry. So just make sure that you are selling those cards on their actual market price based on that position with the chem style as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hop onto Foothead, Footbin, wherever you're looking through the database and look for some of these players. Look through positions, look through leagues, look through literally everything. Give yourself plenty of opportunities to look through cards and find out which ones you want to eye, which ones you think are going to be popular that you could flip. Like this Luke Shaw card, great left back for starter teams in the Premier League. Um, watch that card. There's so many cards you can do this with. It's literally going to happen all the time every day. Uh, so that's why I wanted to bring this video to you guys today talking about flipping for FIFA 20. It's going to happen. It's going to be a great way to make coins early on FIFA Ultimate Team. I will revisit this topic, topic as kind of a how-to format probably a couple weeks into FIFA when we have informs, other special cards, and meta golds and wants to watch this, uh, to talk about as well, because flipping is arguably the best way to make coins in FIFA Ultimate Team uh, when you're just getting on and wanting to make coins like this. Um, it can be one of the best ways uh, to make coins, in my opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a thumbs up if you did, and uh, be on the lookout for a lot more uploads coming this week. Uh, probably some more uploads related around squads, but again, we're going to be looking to more some investing, maybe some Player of the Month uploads as well, uh, because that's going to be coming up soon. We need to be ready for that. And of course, ones to watch. I haven't seen a lot of stuff on that yet. And uh, you guys need to be informed about ones to watch and some players that could be in it this year uh, because the, the field's wide open for that. So I'll talk about that in another video soon. Um, but I'll catch you guys in a video soon. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheeky plug, all right? And check my links down below in the description, Twitter, Twitch, you know, all the good stuff. I'm on all those. So make sure you check those down below. Thanks for watching this video today, guys. Really appreciate it. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.